Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about how automakers like General Motors are cutting production with their pickup trucks in order to perfectly match the supply demand metrics so that they ultimately have pricing power. Before we get into this video though, as always, if you wanna save time and money, the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. And then if you wanna see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. Let's get into it. Let's start things off by going over the day's supply number with the pickup truck manufacturers, General Motors, Ford, and Ram. So GM dealers currently have over 100 days supply of Chevy Silverado pickup trucks in inventory. Ram dealers currently have over 100 days supply of pickup trucks in inventory. And Ford dealers have a over 100 days supply of pickup trucks as well. And more specifically the F-150s because well, the Super Duties, those are actually still pretty uh, sparse. And I do wanna mention, this is something that I see on the ground. Uh, with Ram dealers, the uh, heavy duties, they're not like, super uncommon but they're also not the most common like there's way more 1500s than heavy duties and then with the gm dealers it's kind of mixed because if it's a gmc sierra there's quite a few heavy duties available but if it's a chevy silverado with the hd trucks they're actually pretty hard to come by so i find that uh, difference pretty interesting but regardless all of these truck manufacturers have a day supply number that is more than the average, which the average is less than 60 days. And so what this means is these truck manufacturers are struggling to sell these pickup trucks. Now, I don't really feel like I need to explain why these pickup trucks aren't selling. Again, we've got really high interest rates and these manufacturers have increased the prices on these pickup trucks by an astronomical amount. I mean, just to give you an example, I purchased a Ram Rebel back in 2019, a 2019 model year Ram Rebel, so the new fifth generation Ram and my truck stickered for $59,000. I configured the same exact truck with today's 2023 build and the truck stickered for like over $70,000. Same exact pickup truck, over $10,000 price difference. And so this obviously is pushing a lot of people out of the market because another thing to mention is prior to the pandemic, all of these automakers had rebates on these trucks and the dealers had pretty substantial discounts as well. And so not only were the MSRP prices significantly lower, the actual transaction prices were also significantly lower because of the discounts. And well, these automakers, of course, don't want to go back to that world. And so this is where we dive into these automakers purposefully pulling back on production. Right now, General Motors is halt, is going to halt production for two weeks on the Chevy Silverado and the GMC Sierra. And this is to maintain optimal inventory levels with their dealership. So basically, instead of just continuing to produce trucks, which means that the inventories will continue to build up, which means they'll have to discount the trucks, they instead are going to stop producing trucks. So then the inventory that is currently sitting there hopefully gets bought up. So then they can go back to producing trucks and then keep the prices at the level that they're at with no discounts whatsoever. So in terms of my thoughts on this whole situation, it's kind of mixed. So I think that this is actually going to work for the more expensive vehicles that some of these manufacturers sell that appeal to the, I'll call it the luxury car buyer crowd that still happens to be purchasing vehicles right now because, well, they've got the money, they have the purchasing power. And that's because scarcity really sells with that type of buyer. So think with Ford, like with the Raptor or Ram with the T-Rex, if those manufacturers manufacturers slow down with production to make it so that they pretty much, you know, try to perfectly match the supply demand dynamics, then that'll actually make trucks like that even more popular because the whole reason why people buy trucks like that is because they want to be the cool person on the block with that truck, but they don't want everyone else on the block to have that truck. So people that buy those vehicles, they actually don't want to see big discounts on them. They want those trucks to be as expensive as possible. So they're the only ones that can afford them. But for the rest of the lineup that is supposed to be sold to the average Joe, this isn't going to work because this just pushes the average Joe out of the market because they just can't afford the pickup trucks with the given prices and with the interest rates that we currently have. And so I see this obviously benefiting the automakers again with their high line packages on these pickup trucks, but with the rest of the packages, it's gonna completely backfire. They're gonna continue to not sell these trucks and they're gonna have to eventually decide to discount them or I guess just halt production for longer periods of time, hoping that people will come and purchase 
the pickup trucks. But again, I just don't see that happening. And I can tell you again, anecdotally, when I go to dealerships, this is exactly what I see in real time currently. If it's a high line package on a pickup truck, so think like, you know, Ford F-150 Platinum or Limited, Ram Limited, um, Silverado, High Country, uh, GMC, Sierra, Denali, Ultimate, those trucks are actually pretty hard to find. And I know because I try to find them to review them. But if I want to find a, I don't know, Ram Bighorn, which is supposed to be your, you know, everyday average pickup truck for Ram or Ford F-150 XLT or GMC Sierra, uh, let's say like SLT, for example, or Elevation, and then split the Silverados, an LT or an RST. I can find so many of those available in the market because they're not selling because the demographic that would normally buy those, they can't. So I think that these truck makers need to uh, wake up and not play the production halt game. I mean, again, like I said, it could work with the Highline buyers, but with the average Joe, not going to work. Let me know what you think. I'll see you.